Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn the new file APIs introduced in Java 11. Let's start and follow my steps. Before starting, make sure to have installed in your system Java. In my case, I have installed OpenJDK 17. Good. Then let's create a new Java file called read and write file.java. Open it with a text editor, in my case with a Studio Code. Let's create the public class read and write file, declaring also the main method. Now let's define the file path location of our file called textfile.txt using the path.get method. Don't forget to import the right package. Perfect. Now we are ready to use the new static method write string introduced in Java 11 to add content inside our file textfile.txt. We need to add the file location, in our case file path, then the content that we want to add. Let's put something like this is my first file. Then we need to define the char set. Let's use the default char set. At the end, the standard open option using write. Good. Don't forget to surround with a try catch for the input and output exception. Let's store the content of the write string method inside a variable of type path because we are going to use the new static method read string introduced in Java 11 to read the content of our file textfile.txt. So let's use the file output path variable as a parameter and of course store the output inside a variable of type string. Good. In the end, let's print the content inside the console. Let's recap what we have done. We take the path of the text file.txt. We wrote inside the file using the new static method write string and we read the content of the file with the new static method read string. Perfect. Let's try it. Open the terminal. Create an empty file text file.txt. After that, compile and run our read and write file class. Good, we can see the content, this is my first file. Let's also take a look at the content of the file. Perfect, well done. Now let's remove the file textfile.txt and run again our Java class. We can see the exception, no such file exception, because our class couldn't find the file that we deleted. I want to do this because I want to show you another method called create temp file. Let's jump inside the code and type file dot create temp file. As prefix, we are going to put text file and as suffix dot txt. Let's store it inside a variable temp file of type file. Then let's use the method path.off to get the path of the file. Let's remove the unused imports. In this case, we have done the same things, writing and reading inside a file, but using a temporary file and not an existing one. Let's try it. Open the terminal and type java read and write file dot java. Good, we can see the content of the file, but in this case, there is no such file inside the current folder. This happened because we used the create temp file. Now the question can be, 
what is the location of this temporary file, we can check it very quickly using jshell. Inside the terminal, type jshell. Then type system.getProperty and as parameter put the string java.io.tempdir. Good, we can see the location of the file. Let's go inside this path. And now we can see our temporary file called testfile.txt. So let's check the content to make sure we wrote it in a good way. Perfect. In the end, we can even refactor our code to make it more condensed. Let's remove the temp file and file path and put the content directly inside the write string method. Good, let's try it for the last time. Perfect. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next one. Bye.